Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Mad Tea Party. We hope you're ready to spill the tea. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. And if you're new to our channel, my name is Derek. And my name is Ryan. And today we've got a bit of a Disney haul from both Shop Disney and a park pickup by a friend. Yeah. Um, we got a D23 exclusive to show up today, too. Oh, yeah. Uh, D Disney Movie Insiders. Oh, we have a Disney it's Movie It's a point trade-in. Even more exclusive because I'm, you got to have points. You gotta have the points. That's cool. Um, but we're gonna start with this one from Shop Disney. This is an open edition pin, but on the website it said limited stock. As I saw that, I went on to buy one thing, which you're going to see in a moment. And when I saw this, I was like, uh, -uh I'm not missing that. And so I bought it. Um, Which was probably their intention of putting limited stock. They probably they did, but even I was hoping to buy this in a couple weeks anyway. Marketing, but baby. Here is from their new villains collection that they have going on Isma. And my favorite thing about this pin one, it is pin on pin, but two, that white thing there, just take a moment. Yep, mm hmm. That is her as cat being splatted up against it. And she's even holding up. I don't think splatted up against it. I think she went through it, right? It's a hole, isn't it? Oh no, that's like, because it goes above it. It's like she flew into it and like hit it. Because her hair is above the... And is she white as a cat? Yeah. She's a white cat. Oh, she's purple. No, she's kind of grayish white. And then she's also holding the vial of Essence of Llama. So... I love it. That is the perfect pin for me. Um, yeah, that's a really cute pin. Um, actually, I think of that villain release, that's the best of them. It is. She does not get much love, and I wish she would get more. And I had a hard time not buying the Hades one, even though I have like slimmed my Hercules collection to not include Hades. Um, it just looks so Grecian. Like the border is really cool, so I haven't decided. I've been, I think I'm very selective Hades pins. Yeah, but yeah, but the reason we placed this order, y'all. Um, so this actually we had spotted on Instagram. They started releasing some pride preview photos, and this was in several of them. And I will tell you, the minute that I spotted this. We had to have it. I was like, I cannot wait for this to come out. And they actually like put on their the release date and time of when it was going to be on Shop Disney. So we were just waiting and ready. And I got it. And it's here. And it is loud. And it's proud. And it is this new Pride Spirit jersey. Um, so this pattern is just wild and crazy. It's very Lisa Frank. Um, here on the chest, we have the Pride flag and a Mickey head. I do love this year that they have changed to the progress flag and they may have had progress flag last year, but all of their merch this year um, includes all of the colors and not just the the rain, the normal rainbow. I really like this spirit jersey because it does include the rainbow for pride and all of that. With it's great, it. but it's also like, this is just wearable all the time. Like I'm not yeah. gonna oh, wear this exclusively. I just noticed this like black outline of a heart with hearts inside of it. Mm -hmm. Did you show the back? Not what yet. it says? Um, the back says Disney Pride. And it's got Mickey. And there's a Mickey. And he is, he, <laughs> Ew. He has rainbow clothing on that is really cool. It's a dark, it's red, orange, yellow, and goes down to his tail being blue and his toes being purple. Yeah, this pattern is so cool. I love it to death. And let me tell you, I'm a person who loves loud and obnoxious clothing. I don't really own a lot of stuff that's just like exclusively rainbow. Um, not because I'm not proud, but it just feels like I'm a flag and I don't want to be dressed like a flag. This is my vibe right here. This is how I want to be proud. And this was purchased as a shared clothing item. So he might get to wear it once. Maybe once. Next, Disney Movie Insiders. Every once in a while, I will go in and I will check and see if they've got any sales going on um, for points, like they lower the points that it takes, or if they have posted any new pins. We pretty much only get pins. We've also gotten coasters and a movie poster once. 
Um, but I had been looking at these pins a long time ago when they were full price, and they look similar to some that I already have, but when they were only 300 points, I had to get them. Um, let me get them out of the plastic. So for the 25th anniversary of Hercules, they did release these exclusive pins on Disney Movie Insiders. If you are unfamiliar, it is their, um, basically you buy their stuff and put in a code and get points. They want you to buy movies still. And it basically, they know that you're watching them on Disney Plus, but they want you to buy movies or movie tickets. So like we just saw, um, we just saw The Little Mermaid um, and we need to upload those tickets so that we can get points. Mm -hmm. But this is the kind of stuff you get. So I always check to see if they have new pins and then I saw the sale. Speaking of Little Mermaid, we're not going to make a video with our review of this because I don't think you want a whole video of it. But what we will say, what I will say, I'll speak for myself first. Um, we saw it. My opinion of it is that it exists. I don't think it was bad. I don't. I think that live action movies have a big task of uh, giving the audience aka me a reason why they should exist when we could just go back and watch the animated version and so i don't really necessarily think that it needs to be better than the animated version i think it needs to either be better or establish itself well, what, as its own it's, different thing it's what is the improvement you're making mm -hmm. or what is the change that is happening that makes it a different piece of art yeah. and what i will say the best thing about the movie is halle bailey 1000% she is flawless. Oh, she is the one thing. God, she's the amazing. Controversial casting choice of her was the best thing they could have done for the film. She is so, so good. good. I can't say that about anything else about the movie though. Um, yes. I know that we don't completely agree on this. I enjoyed Melissa McCarthy. Um, and I know she was better than I expected. She was I'll much better than I that. expected, but I actually did enjoy her. And that's the scuttlebutt. <laughs> for today. With that, we are going to move on to our park pickups. And you have a gorgeous, gorgeous thing to show off here. Our friend uh, went to the parks a couple of weeks ago and we are headed there in just a couple of weeks, thank goodness. When it's like weeks before, you never know if an LE is going to still be there or what, so we- And this one is actually an annual pass holder exclusive. We are not annual Oh yeah, I holder. forgot that it- So, yes. and she was, so this, she is. This worked out perfectly. This is from the new Eras collection that they're releasing. Which right now is so kind of Technicolor it. slash 60s, which is goes with the Pride Multicolor. This here is from the 40s. We have Daisy Duck here. I think this was her first appearance. Um, she's gorgeous. She is it's really real pretty. Thing. It's I been really on like pen. Glitter here. Um, does it say There what? is a nice stripe of glitter. Yeah, first appearance in 1940. But how cute. I was about to say, I want to know what the LE is. I'm guessing about 1,000 or 1,500. She was 1999. Um, she is Ellie of 3,000. 3,000. While our friend was in the park, um, she sent us a picture. I believe she was holding the bag to be like, hey, I got your pin. And she was holding in her hand something. And I said, I'm sorry, what is that? And she goes, oh, you, you mean, you mean my Sam Eagle sipper? I said, if you are close to that, go get another. Y'all, yeah, I, I am a weirdo and I will admit it. Nerd alert! He loves Sam Eagle. Y'all look, he, he is just living his dream with his hand across his heart and his other in a fist. And I can't wait to drink out of this. I am actually, I am gonna drink out of him. On 4th of July, he is coming out like, I am so ready for this. You have no idea. July. He is a... Until then. Until... Because going in the cabinet. He... I don't know. He's just... He's just so fun. I... He takes himself so seriously, and I think that's what I like about him. Yeah, he's... 
your Janice. And he's kind of, he is my Janice, yes, Janice. Which actually, you guys, if you happen to be curious about our other content, make sure to click the subscribe button down below. Or off with your head. And if you enjoyed our video, a thumbs up is greatly appreciated. And if you did not like our, our video, a thumbs up is greatly appreciated. Yeah, we like them either way. If you give us a thumbs down, like, that's kind of rude, but it actually still helps with the algorithm. So, whatever. Do you? Don't give us thumbs down, though. You leave a comment down below. Let us know your favorite thing we've so, shown off today. What's I'm going. Oh God. So That's I'm going. Character. I'm going to say that I can't. I have to break it up by things because spirit jersey we is a five things. I know, but pin. Like my, I have a. Sam, is top tier. The jersey is top tier. But if I was to pick a pin, I'm just gonna say Sam. <laughs> Always kind because of I know, but Isma's there. That spirit jersey is everything. That's all. the spirit jersey is amazing. Some of us know what we're I doing. I can't wait to wear it to school on June first. Hmm. Again, thank you so much for watching, and we hope you all have a golden afternoon. Bye, guys. Bye. See you later. If you don't care for tea, you could at least make polite conversation.